Boston Celtics in a thriller in the Garden. They are now 4-2 and two on this road trip. Guys, they were up 96-89, the Lakers, uh, with a minute 40 left. At that point, they had outscored Boston 25-15, I believe, in the fourth quarter, James. Tatum got hot, brought the Celtics back, and the Lakers kind of dodged a bullet there at the end uh, and, and walked away with the victory. You take it any way you can. Yeah, I'll take any I'll take any win over the Celtics. It was a good game. Uh, you know, the Celtics are a really good team. It was another uh, preview of what could be uh, in the playoffs, maybe in the finals. Uh, Tatum is an exceptional player. He is to Boston what LeBron is to us, a shot maker, guy you can depend on. Uh, they played a good game uh, collectively. And the Lakers, uh, you know, they were a little sloppy from time to time. Some turnovers in the third and the fourth quarters that kind of, you know, kept kept Boston in the game. But overall, they played the game they needed to play to win. Uh, got away with some uh, a little unlucky bounce of the ball there at the end. Mm -hmm. But uh, we'll take the win on the road. Yeah, I mean, LeBron much better in the fourth quarter tonight than a couple nights ago against Detroit. He was scoreless in that fourth, and that, that just doesn't happen. And tonight, uh, much better. Unfortunate turnover towards the end for LeBron. But the two guys I want to highlight are two of the guys that Rob Palenka during the offseason said, we want these two guys on our team, Schroeder, Nice game tonight, seven assists, the big three-point play the hard way yeah. in the final couple minutes. I thought Montrez Harrell was all over this game. Eight for ten. Eight, mm -hmm. eight for ten. You know, he had a bunch of steals and blocks. He was the energy tonight uh, on a team that needed it coming off a two-game losing streak. Big off-season acquisitions, and they paid dividends in a big way tonight. After another poor third quarter uh, from the Lakers, Boston took a seven-point lead. The Lakers flipped that into a seven-point lead late in that fourth quarter. I want to show you down the stretch what happened with the Lakers uh, clinging to a one-point lead big game, James. And they go to AD, and you're just going to see good Boston Celtics defense here. The strip by Kemba Walker. And look at this, Jalen Brown and Caruso. Brown, a little yeah. more physical, gets it. Big game, you were saying if you're the Celtics, you have to get that ball to Tatum. Well, There's only three seconds left. You know, Brown's a good player, but, you know, the guy who is a shot maker who had hit the big shot right before that was Tatum. And I think, you know, with that much time left, uh, when Caruso didn't get the steal, I think I might have would have looked for Tatum coming down. But, hey, Boston's a good team. They don't really look for a particular player. That's not the way Stevens coaches them. Uh, they do a good job as a team. So that was a good look he had. Can't, can't fault him for that. Uh, just Lakers got the lucky bounce. Yeah, pretty wild last possession. I mean, you know, someone get the ball and just grab it and shoot it. I mean, it was, it was crazy down the stretch. Uh, Kemba was not having a good night. So that's definitely the guy you wanted shooting the ball if you were the Lakers. At one point, he was one for nine, I believe. I don't know what he finished on the night. Uh, he got a good little look. He kind of kind of pulled back and got Schroeder away from him. It didn't happen. The big news for the Lakers, though, I thought in the third quarter, it, it was Boston. The kind of their unheralded guys who were doing the big things. Uh, Daniel Tice, uh, Robert Williams. Those are the guys who are making the plays. And, of course, Jalen and Tatum did their stuff, too. The Lakers didn't have a counter for that until that fourth quarter. Trez and Schroeder started doing their thing kind of creating a little distance for the Lakers. You mentioned Kemba Walker getting that last shot. Uh, it brought me back to uh, the shot the other night from Philly um, in that same Very exact similar. spot yep. uh, that, you know, beat the Lakers. But Kemba just one for 12 yeah. Uh, yeah. in this Tough game. Night. So I want to show you some fourth quarter numbers, uh, guys. Tobias Harris was that's who hit yep. the uh, shot for the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, 25 to 17. Those Seven turnovers. turnovers. That's the key. By the Lakers. The Lakers actually had two turnovers in that fourth quarter, and they were both late. One by LeBron falling and losing the ball out of bounds, and then the one at AD late there in the quarter. So the Lakers did a really nice job until that until the very end, last yeah. minute of the game. It got a little chaotic there. What, what a turnaround from, again, the Detroit game. They gave up a lot of points to a not very good offense in, in Detroit. The fourth quarter really kind of erased whatever happened two days ago. Seven turnovers. That, that's an amazing number for, to, to force against, against a very good offensive team, a very precise offensive team like the Boston Celtics. LeBron definitely better tonight down the stretch. We, we didn't see the first part of that. Trez actually got the steal, pushed it up court, and here's, of course, uh, uh, Schroeder's three-point play the hard way. For me, that was a big play, James. You needed a bucket, and it was nice to see someone not named LeBron in AD. Uh, and if you watch that whole sequence, and, you, and you'll, you'll see it on the highlights in a little bit, Schroeder called for that ball back. He went, attacked, didn't go, gave it back to LeBron, called for it back. He had the matchup with Tice that he liked. 
and he took him to the rack and got the end one. It was huge. Yeah, I, th I think Schroeder knows uh, when he can get by someone, uh, particularly if you give it to him uh, uh, in front of the defense where he can see the whole defensive, uh, you know, attack. Uh, he's really good at getting those angles. Someone cleared out, and he saw that right and got the and one. It was a nice play. We needed him. Kind of nice to, to have a there. great fourth quarter again, James. Kind of yeah. got away from <laughs> the Lakers the last couple of games, really. They stayed, they stayed in there. Since the Bucks game, right? They stayed yeah. in there on both ends of the, of, of the floor. Good defense, you know, uh, made Boston hit some tough shots. And then offensively, they found the guys they were supposed to. AD, some good shots. LeBron with the three down the stretch. And then, of course, Schroeder getting what he does. And then, you know, Montrez, as you mentioned, uh, active, big buckets down the stretch. Uh, we hope Marcus Smart is okay. We're hearing strained calf. There was yeah, rumors of the Achilles, but strained calf, that's, that's good news for them. Yeah. All right, let's get you to the highlight. <laughs> I do. It's always exciting, right? You know what time it is, Brez. Tell us, James. It's time to get that Celtic ass. And what a way to telling. start the show. Happy birthday, Allie. Lakers get and Celtics are set to meet for the first time this season. The two teams have split their last six games three to three. And here's a look at how they stack up against each other this season. Both teams are currently third in their conferences. The Celtics are 10 and 7. The Lakers at 14 and 6. Uh, very similar statistics Lakers better defensively uh, no word on AD yet he is a game time decision I still want to talk about him guys the Lakers need him in a big way they're coming off a couple losses in a row when history has shown us James and Brez that when AD does maybe take a game off get a little extra rest he's usually ready to go so we hope that knee and leg are okay yeah hopefully that's the case you know I know sometimes and Brez you're more familiar with this than I am coach just like to Hold on to that last minute before they let you know mm -hmm. if the player's playing or not. Play some tricks. Uh, otherwise, you know, I'd be like, why are they not saying it? Because he's had a day off. They should know. But, you know, tricks of the trade, Brad. I hope he's uh, ready to go. Uh, they need a win uh, as a team, and they need him to uh, provide everything that he does. Yeah, no doubt. Some pretty good uh, front court players there for Boston, uh, including, but certainly not limited to uh, Jason Tatum. So if those guys end up going head-to-head, -head, that could be uh, pretty fun to watch. But obviously you want your, your second-best player on that court right next to LeBron James. And, and listen, the motivation is, hasn't been easy this year for, for teams, especially a team like the Lakers who didn't have an offseason. I mean, we've said many times we're, we're excited with where they are, but some of these nights it's hard to get up. But when it's the Celtics, it's a primetime national game, and you're coming off two losses, we're not going to have to worry about that. Yeah, yeah, coming off two losses and uh, you know having some time, a little time to rest and regroup. You know, it's tough. You know, they hit a funk at the wrong time. You know, it happens. You know, I, I couldn't imagine being a lawyer, like going into the courtroom trying to, you know, fight off a migraine or a stomach ache or something like that. Sometimes that's what these guys are up against in the middle of a road trip. No excuses. Still got to get it done, but they should be rebooted now after two losses. AD's rested. Uh, I, I want to see, see some energy. Yeah, this team really does not like to lose two in a row, which they just did. They certainly do not want to lose three in a row. Uh, it's okay to lose to Philly. You know, I'm okay with that loss. Yeah. You know, the Lakers were up by a point. Last second shot by Tobias Harris. You can, you can deal with that. But I think they're, they're probably a little stung by what happened in Detroit a couple nights ago, uh, losing by 15 to a team that really is, is not that good. So you know that's been in the back of their minds the last 48 hours. I think they're going to come out strong and definitely try not to lose that third game in a row. Yeah, every team plays their best when the champions come to town. It's True. weird. Every, yeah. it's Even weird. Detroit. I don't know what it is. Yeah, yep. They play Final their 14. best. Uh, so they have to be ready for that. Yep. Lakers and Celtics will renew their historic rivalry tonight in Boston. For the latest on tonight's matchup, we check in with Laker reporter Mike Trudell. Hey, Mike, you got some uh, new news for us regarding uh, Anthony Davis? Yeah, guys, he is in to start nice. the game, so that's certainly good news for the Lakers after the one game with the thigh bruise. Uh, he went out there and looked pretty good in warm-ups, and yep, he's starting the game. So uh, when we, the sound here, you're going to hear me ask about AD, and Frank Vogel at this point didn't yet know that. So just uh, now we have the information that that is good, he is starting. Then we move on to talk about Tatum and Brown and some other things about this matchup. So here's the head coach a couple moments ago. Well, those two are, are certainly uh, highly dynamic. And, um, you know, obviously the, the versatility of, of, uh, of you know, having switchable defenders, um, you know, it, it helps any defense, you know. But what those guys do uh, on the offensive side of the ball or what they're doing on the offside, offensive side of the ball with uh, Brown actually being the leading scorer for them right now, um, we know what Tatum can do. 
you know, it's a, it's a thunder and lightning type of thing. And, you know, they got a lot of other firepower too. So this is a, this team's a legitimate contender to win the East. And, um, you know, they haven't really been at full strength yet this year. So uh, I think only one game where they, they've had everybody at full strength. So you know, this will be, a, you know, another test for them. Uh, or our first look at them. And Frank, any patterns you've noticed from the last two games in contrast to the previous games when you had been winning? Is there, is it, is there anything that stood out about the reasons why um, those turned to losses instead of wins? Yeah, I mean, I hit a game-winning shot on one of them, and, uh, you know, we ran out of gas in, in another. You know, we just uh, – I thought we played with good energy throughout the Detroit game. I thought in watching the tape, Detroit played, played a really good basketball game. You know, they made a lot of guarded shots, and um, you know it just puts it, it falls in the bucket in, in my mind of you know you're going to get teams best shot, and it's not always just effort, you know, but uh, some, you know you can have guys like Blake Griffin that have a throwback type of night, you know what I mean? And um, a lot of those those situations were good defense. Uh, you tip your cap to them, but you know we we faltered a little bit offensively, couldn't make a shot down the stretch, and um, you know, you're going to have nights like that. All right, there you go. So. One- once again, uh, Anthony Davis, that is the big news, Chris. He is available and will start for the Lakers here. All right. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate that. Uh, we're heading to break. Plenty more ahead here on Access Sportsnet Lakers. We'll look back at Kyle Kuzma's strong performance last time out. Plus, don't forget, 